Hey, what's happening, guys? One of the first of the um, buck converters that I ordered has come in. I thought we'd take a look at it today. Check it out. Look how it works. And, uh, yeah, just go from there. When the other three come in, then we'll put them all together. And we'll see which one, based on, you know, the topology, the design, what chip they're using, works best for what we need. Uh, also, just a quick note, I'm going to be out of town for a few days. So this is going to be the last video until Saturday. So let's take a look here. And uh, it's a really simple little one. Let's get up close. It's just a quick refresher in case you're uh, unaware of buck converters, what they do basically. So here we have our supply. Over here we have our load. And a buck converter is simply a DC to DC converter and it bucks the voltage down. It bucks the voltage down by knocking the current up and it does that with a switch, a diode, and an inductor. And the simple theory behind it is as the switch is opened and closed, the inductor stores energy in a magnetic field and it converts the voltage to current and allows the voltage to drop while the current rises. Really simple. So let's get a zoom in here and see what this baby is. This one I think was like 89 cents on eBay from China. I mean, really super cheap. So this is our input side and we have a, a smoothing cap. And then this is our switch, which in this case is the uh, LM2596. Then we have our diode inductor. This is our potentiometer to adjust the voltage, a smoothing capacitor. It's another little, I think that's an LED maybe. There's a resistor, resistor. Can't quite tell, it might be a little teeny tiny capacitor. That's really simple. Let's hook it up. All right, I've got everything hooked up. We're using a uh, 12 volt sealed lead acid battery for our power going into the input side. Got a little 12 volt battery on the output side for a load. And then we're gonna measure it with the uh, OM B35T multimeter. Let's power it up here. Did I put them on backwards? That's interesting. No, yeah, that should be right. Look at that. That's out plus. Oh, Paul, you're an idiot. Pardon my idiocy. There we go. So you can see we've barely got a little light here. And we're putting out 3.318 volts from the 12 volts. And there is a LED lit there to show we're in operation. And we can crank it up. Yeah. Five going through six volts, seven, eight, nine. And there we've reached our max, which is 11.82 volts. Because there is going to be some voltage loss in the circuitry, we can never get actually 100% efficiency, but we're pretty close. And let's see how low we can go. That little tiny screwdriver in there. It should be able to go down pretty doggone low. The bulb's out now. So 1.266, clear up to 11.8. Now that's pretty nice. That's a good range. Oh my, my eyes are so bad, I can't even see that little tiny screw. That's why I usually buy the ones with the buttons. But I figured we'd take a look at something that was, you know, super, super cheap. So if we take 11.8 and divide it by 12 volts, which is our input, we get an efficiency of somewhere in the area of around 
92, 93. No, no, it'd be higher, wouldn't it? 98 points. 98 percent somewhere in that area so for like i said a really cheap uh, buck converter this is pretty nice you want to look at the specs on uh, all these parts to figure out what your maximum current is because you know your maximum current is going to be the maximum current of the weakest link right this came in in about two weeks from china which is a uh, pretty amazing in my book because the stuff usually takes about four weeks to get here and uh, let me look and see just how much it was I'll put a link down below according to eBay this has a uh, maximum 3 amp and it was 76 cents uh, the seller was go by Judy 2009 I think that's you know a pretty doggone good deal for something this tiny you know, that's about two inches by three quarters of an inch, maybe half inch tall at most. 76 cents. At 20 years ago, if you could get something like this for 26 for 76 cents, good lord, you could have revolutionized the world. It's amazing how the prices have come down. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little look at a buck converter. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.